As mentioned at the very beginning of this unit, um, when going over rate laws, you know I mentioned that you know you you had to go and figure out the reaction order of a particular rate law experimentally, um, but that for an elementary step, you know you don't necessarily have to do that. You know, and and that's exactly what we're going to deal with right now is just writing rate equations or rate laws for an elementary step within a reaction mechanism. Um, so again, you know, I kind of just went over this, but just to you know, re-emphasize it again, a rate law must be obtained from experimental data, you know, which means that you need to figure out the exponents and the rate constant experimentally. That's for an overall reaction. But when you're dealing with elementary reactions or the steps within a reaction mechanism, you don't need to determine it that way. You can just look at the equation and be able to figure out the rate law um, from that. And because of that, you know, you can use the coefficients that you might see within a particular reaction. So here are three, a series of just three different examples that you could do. You just basically need to figure out the rate laws for each one of these equations. Um, again, they're elementary reactions, so one thing that you may want to uh, make sure of when you're looking at you know problems in the future is just to make sure whether or not you're dealing with an elementary reaction or an overall reaction. In this case, we're dealing with elementary reactions, though. So we can just do a regular rate law. You know, so for example, in the first one, your reactants are O3 and NO. So your rate law is just going to be rate equals K times the concentration O3 and the concentration concentration of NO. You know, so that's for that one. For the next one, again, same thing. You're dealing with an elementary reaction, so it's just rate equals K. You have two I's here. You know, so just add those together. If you add those together, that means you have a coefficient of 2, so your exponent is 2, and then you have m like that. Now one little symbol you might see here, um, which is kind of non-related to what we're going over right now, but you know, just in case you're wondering, that right there just means that it's in its active state, um, so if you see something like that, it's just showing you that that's the one that's in its active state, where that one may not necessarily be there. But anyways, for the next one, your rate law is just rate equals K and then H2O. No coefficient to put there. So again, with elementary reactions, you don't need to figure things out experimentally. You can just look at the reaction and be able to figure out the rate law that way.